entertainment, useful knowledge. Well, stay tuned. We're going to show you how to make a gluten-free, keto-friendly breakfast casserole. We came up with this recipe because we have one of our co-workers who is gluten intolerant. So we wanted to make it so everyone could enjoy a breakfast casserole at work. Okay, first of all, this casserole will serve about 10 to 12 folks. So what you're going to need is three pounds of sausage. That's breakfast sausage. Now what I do is I put one hot and two mild. If you like it spicier, by all means, use all hot if you'd like. Also use 18 eggs and six cups of shredded cheese. You're going to need a skillet because we're going to brown that sausage first and then we use a big crock pot. This is a seven quart crock pot to uh, actually cook it overnight. Okay, to get started we are going to brown three pounds of breakfast sausage. Now what I do, I use one pound of hot to two pounds of mild breakfast sausage but you can do whatever you'd like to to suit your taste. Okay, let's get that going. Okay, while our sausage starts to cook, we're going to go ahead and crack 18 eggs and get those ready. Remember, you're gonna need 18 eggs for this breakfast casserole. Okay, our sausage is brown. I'm gonna crumble it up just a little bit before I put it in there. And all I'm gonna do is just run a spatula through that like that. Okay, all we're gonna do now is we're gonna put our brown sausage in our crock pot. Now I don't drain it because I can get most of the grease out of it just by picking up part of the brown sausage and letting it drain right there. And most of your grease is just gonna end up in your skillet. Okay, we've got our sausage in here, and as you can see, most of our grease stayed over there. Now we're just going to put in the eggs. Okay, about your eggs. You want to scramble them up. Now you can use a fork, you can use a whisk, it really doesn't matter. You just want to scramble them up good. I'm going to do that now. Make sure you get them all good and scrambled. Every now and then you'll get a a rogue yolk that doesn't want to scramble up. Alright, looks like we're ready to go. Okay, we've got our brown sausage in our crock pot. And remember, I got most of the grease out of it. If you really want to strain it, that's okay too. Not a big deal there. And now all we're going to do is we're going to put in our 18 scrambled eggs. We're just going to pour them in. We're just going to mix that up. There's that one rogue egg I was trying to get. We're just going to mix that up. Okay, it's all mixed in good. We're going to turn this on low. And basically, we're going to cook it overnight. I'm about to go to bed. This is going to cook for about seven hours. Okay, just a note. Like I said, we're going to cook this for about seven hours on low. Don't put your cheese on yet. We'll put the cheese on in the morning and let that melt. It will melt fairly quickly. So remember, we've got no gluten in here. We've got no bread. All we have at this point is eggs and sausage. Okay, we're going to plug that in and let it cook. Don't forget to put your lid on. Okay, this has been going about seven hours. And you can see what it looks like. You've got some crunchy areas. And then you got the middle. We have some of our team that love the crunchy areas. I love the middle part. Anyway, so you might have some extra grease from it cooking overnight. So what I usually do is I go ahead and get some of that out with just a paper towel. It's actually not a lot once you try to start getting it out. And now we're gonna do is put cheese on it. I'm gonna put I put six cups of cheese for one of these big crock pots like this. Okay, as far as the top of cheese, now I just use a, a shredded blend cheese. I have shredded my own cheddar and use that. So it's really up to you whatever type of shredded cheese you'd like. And if you don't like as much, I've made it with four cups, but uh, six cups of cheese in one of these crock pots really seems to uh, do the trick. 
All right, you're gonna put the lid back on, and that cheese is gonna melt pretty quick, and you'll be ready to eat. So I'll leave it on low, probably another 10, 15 minutes, and the cheese will be melted, and it'll be ready to eat. Okay, that's what it's gonna look like when it's done. The cheese is melted for about 15 minutes. You can turn it off or put it on warm at this point, and it's ready to eat. So we hope you gained some useful knowledge on how easy it is to make a keto-friendly, gluten-free breakfast casserole. Thanks for watching.